Hey guys, I know today looks a little bit different than normal. It's cold outside and we're watching Kids Church from our pajamas. And while it's a little bit different, there's a few things I know that are the same. First thing is this, that God is with us. And the second thing is He wants to talk to you. So right now I want to encourage you to put away whatever toys you're playing with, put down anything that's going to distract you. And for the next few minutes, let's pay attention to this Bible story and hear what God wants to say to us. It's going to be a great day. Oh, hey guys, did you know what today was? Because I forgot, and I didn't realize today was Valentine's Day, and I did not get my best girl anything. And so now, I'm trying to figure out how I can make these cookies in time before she forget realizes that I forgot what I was doing. Because today's a day all about love and kindness. And kindness is showing others how valuable they are based off how you treat them. So I'm trying to treat her nice, I'm trying to make her some cookies, get my hands a little bit dirty, and figure out how to make this so I can show her some kindness. Let's see if I can do it. Hey all you Googlers out there in Google Nation, welcome to the Google Show. Thanks for joining me on YouTube today. I've got a special guest with me, Mr. Reed. Hey, uh, Googles, I, I don't think we're on YouTube and what? I don't think this is the Google Show. This is the Google Show. I just sang the jingle, Google Show. I, I don't know if that's really a jingle. Googles. Yeah, all that's my cool. Googlers are out there watching us right now. You're being very rude to them. I'm so sorry. I would hate to be rude to them. Um, on, on an unrelated but probably related note, knowing that I'm dealing with you, I found some candy on my desk earlier. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Um, Happy Halloween! Once again, I, I don't think it's Halloween. I don't think we're on YouTube, and I don't think this is the Google show. Mr. Reed! You are a guest on my show, and you are being very disrespectful. You're right. I'm so sorry. I, I would hate to be disrespectful. Let's, we'll just answer the big question. I don't think today's Halloween. What? Yeah. Um, well, give me back my candy. I, I, I absolutely will, if you'd like it back. Um, and, and in fact, today's actually Valentine's Day, so... What? Yeah. No, today is Halloween. That's why I gave you candy, not for Valentine's Day. That's gross. Okay, if you say so. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, so, so this candy's for me? Yeah! I heard that we've been learning about kindness, so I thought I'd invite you onto my show yeah. so we could teach the kids about kindness. Yeah, we actually have been learning yeah. about kindness. And kindness is showing someone they're valuable by the way you treat them. That's exactly right. And so, I wanted to show you how valuable you are. So, so you gave me candy? Yeah, because it's Halloween and it's real cold outside. I didn't want you to have to go knock on all those stinky doors and like slide on all the ice. You good? Yeah, it's a little slippery. <laughs> I see that. Well, thank you so much, Googles. Um, yeah, here, I actually was kind of hungry. I'll try one of these right now. Perfect. Let's see. Remember, it's trick or treat candy. Uh-huh. Makes me feel like it's gonna be expired. You should choose wisely. Any day now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Delicious? No, it's pretty terrible. What is this? <clears throat> oh. Mr. Reed, that was handmade chocolate just for you. Handmade chocolate? Yeah, with what else? Well, it was a very special recipe that comes down from my great granny. And what's in it? Chocolate covered tuna. Chocolate covered tuna? So yummy, right? No, that's disgusting. You you eat this? My grandma's gonna be very hurt by your words. I'm I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend Grandma Googles if she's out there, but I, I gotta be honest. We call I, her Grand Google. Graham Google? Yeah. I, well, I'm so sorry, Graham Google, but I don't really like this. To be completely honest with you, Googles. Well, that probably was the wrong one that you picked. Okay. So, you should try a different one. So, so this other piece of candy in my hand here. Yeah, it's so good. You, you're telling me that this isn't chocolate covered nope, tuna. No, not chocolate covered tuna. Okay, but but it is chocolate. It's chocolate. If I had a right hand, I would raise it and promise. But it's not chocolate covered tuna. No, I already said that, Mr. I, Reed. I'm Open sorry. your ears. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure. I'm, I'm gonna try this one. You're a real slow eater. Oh, well, I'm a little bit worried now. This, okay, this one's pretty, this one's pretty bad too, Google. What? what is this? Mr. Reed! What are you feeding me? That is chocolate covered sauerkraut. Chocolate covered sauerkraut? I don't even like sauerkraut to begin with. You obviously don't have a very sophisticated palate. 
Maybe I don't, but I don't know many people who would like chocolates covered sauerkraut. Everybody I know, all my Googlers and Google Nation. They, they like chocolate covered sauerkraut? They like chocolate covered everything. Don't you know chocolate makes everything better? I, I have heard that, but I don't think they intended for that to apply to tuna and sauerkraut. Listen, you just been picking the wrong things. You don't have a very mature taste bud palette. What? You need some more basic chocolate. Too bad it's not Halloween, because that candy comes with like a little picture map. Y you mean, you mean Valentine's oh, Day? Oh yeah, that's what I mean, Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, well that's the thing, Googles. Today is Valentine's Day. What? Y yeah, I, I tried to tell you Why that Why didn't you before. tell me that? I, I tried to tell you that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. We've been talking about Halloween this whole time. Yeah, you've been talking about Halloween. I've yeah, been talking about been Valentine's talking Day since the beginning. Yeah, you've been talking back to me. Yes, that because... That means we have been talking. You told me not to be disrespectful to the Googlers out there. Mr. Reed, get it together. Okay, I'll get it together. Today is Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, people. Not Halloween. Not Halloween. See what happens when I bring a guest on my show? It gets all crazy. Yeah, sure. It's all my fault, just like always. Google. Glad you know. Today is Valentine's Day. Oh, and, happy, and ha happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Day to you too, Googles. And, and yes, we have been talking all about kindness, and kindness is showing someone how valuable they are by how you treat them. Yeah, that's you why have, I made you special chocolate. And I am so appreciative of it. In fact, I am so, so appreciative of it that I'm going to let you have the rest of it. That's good, because I love them. I, and I'm so glad that you do. And I hope that all the Googlers that you have out there will love it as well. Um, you know who my number one fan is? Who's your number one fan? Pastor Brendan. I can absolutely see that. Does Pastor Brendan like chocolate covered sauerkraut and chocolate covered tuna? Obviously, he has a very sophisticated palate. Well, that's good. Why don't you take all the rest of the chocolate that you left on my desk and uh, give it to him? Will do. Sounds great to me. And while you do that, we've actually got a Bible story that we're going to check out. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye! Bye, Googles. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the Book of Ruth. In the land of Moab, there lived a young woman named Ruth. She married a man from Judah and must have dreamed of a large family and many children. We'll name them Zeke and Hannah and... But Ruth's happily ever after ended before it began. Her husband died and his brother too, and that left Ruth alone with her sister-in-law Orpah and her mother-in-law Naomi, whose husband died too. I have nothing left. Naomi had come to live in Moab during a famine in Judah, but she had gotten word that there was plentiful food in her homeland again, so she planned to take a road trip. Ruth, Orpah, go back to your family homes. May the Lord show you kindness as you have shown me. So Orpah kissed her mother-in-law and left, but Ruth wouldn't budge. I'm going with you. Look, your sister-in-law is going back to her people. Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Well, okay then. Finally, after a long and dusty journey, the two women arrived in Naomi's hometown of Bethlehem. Everywhere along the road, barley rippled in the breeze, golden and ready to harvest. Is that Naomi? She don't look so good. Don't call me Naomi. The Lord has made my life bitter. I went away full and the Lord has brought me back empty. Don't listen to them. You just need dinner and a nap. Finding food was their top priority. Some of those barley fields belong to my husband's relative, Boaz. The grain is being harvested right now. Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftovers. Go, my daughter. The law instructed the landowners to leave behind some of the harvest for people who needed food. So Ruth followed behind the harvesters, gathering every bit of barley that fell to the ground. Barley. Let's see. You can barbecue it, boil it, broil it, saute it. Ruth worked hard in the heat of the day. In the afternoon, Boaz came out to survey the harvest. The Lord be with you. 
The Lord bless you! Boaz spotted Ruth hard at work and asked his overseer, Who is that young woman? She came back from Moab with Naomi. She asked if she could pick up the extra grain and has barely rested all day. Boaz was moved by Ruth's care for Naomi. He waded through the barley to speak with her. Stay here and follow along where the men are harvesting. I'll make sure no one bothers you. And when you're thirsty, you get a drink from the water jars. Why are you so kind to me, a foreigner? I've been told what you've done for your mother-in-law, how you left your homeland to come here. May the Lord reward you. Boaz offered Ruth bread and roasted grain to eat, and at the end of the day, she was able to bring a large amount of grain home to Naomi. So much food! Ruth continued to work in Boaz's fields until the end of the grain harvest, but even then, life would have been very difficult for two women living alone together. So Naomi laid out a plan for Ruth. I will do whatever you say. At the end of the harvest, the workers threshed the grain to separate the edible kernel from the straw. Then they held a big celebration. When the meal was over and the lights burned low, Boaz laid down near the pile of grain to sleep. Ruth arrived and approached Boaz just as Naomi had told her to do. She folded the blanket away from his feet and lay down nearby. <gasps> Who's there? It's me, Ruth. Please give me your protection since you're responsible for our family. Boaz was surprised, but what Ruth had said was true. The Lord bless you. Don't be afraid, I'll do what you ask. Everyone knows you are wise and kind. Even though Boaz agreed to help Ruth, there was a family member who was closer than Boaz. So in the morning, Boaz set out to meet that man and the town elders to settle the matter. I will buy Naomi's land and also marry Ruth, if you will let me. Well, I sure can't purchase Naomi's land and take care of my own land too. So we're good? Go right ahead. Today, you are all my witnesses that I will buy Naomi's land and marry her daughter-in-law, Ruth. As soon as it could be arranged, Boaz and Ruth were married. Naomi came to live with them, and a short time later, Ruth and Boaz had a new baby boy. His name is Obed. Aren't you the sweetest little thing? So through the kindness of Boaz and Ruth, Naomi had a brand new home and a brand new family too. Everyone could see the difference in her face. Praise be to the Lord. He's given you a new lease on life, Naomi. Yeah, that Ruth is better to you than seven sons. Now, Ruth's story doesn't end there. Her son, Obed, had a son named Jesse, who had a son named David, King David. And hundreds of years later, a new baby boy was born in Bethlehem, who was a descendant of King David, and his name was Jesus. In today's Bible story, we learned about Naomi and Ruth, a mother and daughter that stuck together no matter what and always, always showed each other kindness. Kindness is showing someone how valuable they are by how you treat them. And what I wanna do right now is take a special moment to pray that as we go throughout our week, God will help us and remind us to be kind to all of those that we come across. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we come to you today and we thank you so, so, so much for allowing us to be here together. I ask that as all of us go throughout our week, that we would find times and find moments to be kind to our family and to our friends. No matter how difficult the situation may seem and no matter how tough it is, we can always choose to show kindness. We love you and we thank you. And in your name we pray, amen. Okay guys, I did it, I stuck with it, and I figured out how to make these cookies. My best girl is gonna be so proud of me. I, my mom is gonna be so happy with these cookies. Can't wait to give her these cookies. I probably shouldn't do all of them. <laughs>